Hi guys, Rob Meyer here, and welcome to another speed art. This is the second one I'm recording in like within an hour, I believe. Yeah, within an hour. It's 1:38 now, and the last video was recorded from 1:09 to later. Um, first things first, the music track in the background is Gerudo Valley from Ocarina of Time, and second off, this is the hook shot, so it makes sense because it's, you know, Zelda. This is the one from Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. So this was broken into three parts. One was this part, and then I took a break. Then there's another one that's 37 seconds, then I took a break. And then there's the last one. This is about, like, 15 minutes, over 15 minutes. So we're going to be here for a little while, but... Yeah, I really... I enjoyed the final product, actually. Like, I was very myth about, uh, I don't really like this for the longest time. You'll see that the back part, with the handle, I raced that about three times. So... Yeah. Sorry about that, I just had to fall something. Alright. This chain thing as well, this I do a couple times. It's it's hard to do, I guess. That's the best way to put it. It has a lot of intricate parts and a lot of intricate colors that need to be satisfied to make it good. But I, I still think it's really good. I don't know. It's me. Anyway. Um, i trying to think about what to talk about now. I guess the Zelda Maker I can talk about since, you know, Zelda. And I was talking about Mario Maker last time since, you know, that's basically the entire reason they put the Master Sword in Mario Maker 2. It's for Zelda Maker. To see the test of water, to see how people would be creative with it. I don't... I doubt there's any other reason, but whatever. I mean, except for, you know, get the game lifely again, but... For Zelda Maker, I think they would either have to do... The same thing they did with 3D World, where they'd make it all do 2D, which would mean that you could put Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, into, th into 2D. I doubt Breath of the Wild, I doubt that entirely. Um, maybe Skyward Sword? I doubt. I don't know. You would either have to make it entirely 2D Zelda Maker, which either you add in 3D games or you don't, and you keep that a separate game. So you could do Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Zelda 3. So the four, um, Link Between Worlds, uh, the new Zelda, the uh, new Zelda four, Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. Also, this is me coloring in. There's a lot of intricate colors in this to make a shine, and it's hard. So you'll see me doing a lot of going back over with more colors to make it better. But I don't know. So the one, ha it makes sense. It ha it it kind of has to be there. It's the quintessential Zelda game. But is it going to be a normal, you know, game maker? Or can it be a dungeon maker? I'm guessing dungeon. It's probably going to be dungeon. You can find the dungeon item and then complete the dungeon that way. But, I don't know. But, like, thinking about it, they could put so many items into Zelda 1. Kind of like how they did in Mario Maker. Because you have, nowadays, you have 8-bit stuff for everything because of Hyrule Warriors. So you have the hookshot, you have ice arrows, you have all that stuff. You have the Deco Mask, you get the Zora Mask, you get the Goron Mask, you get the Majora's Mask, you got... Oh yeah, it switched layers some way through this. It does that a lot, actually. I don't know why it did, but it did. But the Mask of Truth, you got the hammer, you got all the stuff from a lot of Zelda games. So you can always put it in... Why is it not the same one? I don't remember what I was on, I don't know about that. Oh, the color. The coloring was off. Yeah, I don't, this is, it's a lot, it's been a long time since I finished this. Like an hour, so I'm not gonna remember anything, but. Yeah, this is gonna be a while. Yeah, we're still in the first video, by the way. Just to say. I believe we are, anyway. I don't know, I didn't start recording. I didn't start the time when I usually do. But. Um, I don't know. Also, I guess I can talk about Breath of the Wild 2. If the Breath of the Wild 2 does not have the hook shot, 0 out of 10, worst game ever. No. <laughs> but 
the hook, the hook shot is really good. I love the hook shot. It's my favorite Zelda item. Yeah, here's me re erasing the thing for the first time. But it looks, it, the hook shot is my favorite Zelda item. Just because, you know, it's so versatile and it's fun. It's literally a grappling hook. Oh yeah, I started putting in the bottom on the middle. But you just... It exudes fun. And that's what Zelda Midas should. It should be fun and versatile the same way. Which, most items really don't show that. The bow does in 3D, Ocarina 3D. That's just because, you know, you got analog, or not analog, you got gyroscope. So you can aim however you want to aim, and you can shoot however you want to shoot. Um, I find a lot of fun of the Rock's Feather in the, in the uh, Oracle games and for, oh yeah, the Oracle games, they should add those into a, a, quintess, er, a quintessential Zelda maker. They should add the Oracle games in, because the Oracle games are great. This section right here, I guess I'll go back on the DR a little bit, this section took me a long time. I tried to mirror it. I pulled out the lasso, yeah, I tried to mirror it, it didn't work. I think I ended up saying screw and just did the top part and then dealt with this later. I don't know. As of right now, the uh, top part, I'm sorry, the top part, like the bleed, it looks really good. And still does look really good. I mean, I'm not going to say it, I changed much of it at all. Alright, um, let's go on Twitter and let's see if I can find anything to talk about while I'm here. <laughs> Honestly, I got nothing. <laughs> so I can talk about Zelda music, because Zelda music is great. This is definitely my favorite track. But Gerudo is definitely the best. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep hitting my guy in my corner. But Gerudo is the best. It, there's no doubt about that. Gerudo is the best Zelda track. And that's why it's in Smash Bros. You got the Saria song, the song Storms, Zelda's Lullaby. Um, Serenade of Water. I'm trying to think. Because that's really all of Ocarina. I don't really like any. Or Deck Palace from Majora's Mask. That's a good one. And the Sonata of Awakening. Um. What else? Eclipse of the Moon. Eclipse of the Moon is definitely my second favorite Zelda, th Zelda song. Eclipse of the Moon and Eclipse of the Moon GT. Which stands for Ganon's Tower. If you played Pirate Warriors, you would know what I'm referring to. But it is definitely one of the best Zelda songs. It just exudes power, it exudes uh, a lot of different emotions that are very important. Oh god, is this when I start doing the chain? This is definitely when I start doing the chain, isn't it? Oh god, that chain took me forever. Yeah. I think this is around the point when I start uh, when I import the other hookshot image, because I did pull out another image so I can do it easier. <laughs> I don't know. Zelda, uh, I guess talk about Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is definitely what every Zelda game should be based off originally. Yeah, here's the other hookshot image, but it just like. It just has such a good design. A lot of the stuff is weird, but like it has good design. It has good combat, even if it's a little basic. That's what basically Breath of the Wild is. Except for the flurry rush, it's just basic combat. But you know, it makes sense. You got you hold forward and you stab. Your normal slash. You can do a horizontal slash or a vertical, depending on which sword you're using. You got a lot of those little 
kinks and stuff. Oh god, I can't stop hitting my microphone. And you also have a lot of your items to work with. That was the best part. Like the hover boots? Oh my god. Hover boots are definitely one of the best Zelda items. Because you just get to float. That's all you do. You just float for a few seconds. Or like a second, and then you fall. And that has become what should be in every other game. And the only other game that it's in is Cadence of Hyrule. Because of course it's only in Cadence of Hyrule. Of course. So are the Iron Boots. And so is like every other Zelda item that they don't care about. Which is very sad. Because Breath of the Wild that's what um how many returning items well let's see they got the boomerang they got magic they're like the fire and the ice rod bow sword i'm not gonna get to the hammer because it's not like the normal hammer it's not a magic hammer it's not the megaton hammer i mean you can consider that but i'm not gonna so what let's look at ocarina's lineup ocarina has Slingshot, Deck of Sticks, Sword, Bow, Shield. Oh, I forgot that shield. Uh, shield. Or let's just talk about these in individual. Breath of the Wild has a lot more content, yeah, but durability. In Ocarina of Time, the Kokiri Sword, you start with that, and that's the only weapon, that's the main sword that Child Link uses. You got the Master Sword midway through the game. And then you can get the big Goron sword, which the big Goron sword is better, but you can't use a shield. That's a good trade-off. And the um let's call it shields. You got the Deku shield, which can burn. And if Young Link uses it, or uses the Hyrulean shield, the Hylian shield, he can't use it like a normal shield because it's too heavy for him. That's a good trade-off. And then Link can or Adult Link can only use the Hylian shield until the last dungeon, which you get the mirror shield, which the mirror shield is the best shield in Zelda. And to say that the Hylian shield is better than that is, you know, bullshit. It annoys the hell out of me that they kind of ignore the mirror shield, which is weird because they pressed it in a lot of other games. I'm tired. I don't know. When did the mirror shield last show up in a Zelda game? Let's see. Um, was it? Well, other than Link's Awakening, the remake. Was it a Link to Between? No, it wasn't a Link Between Worlds. Um, what was before Link Between Worlds? Skyward Sword. It wasn't in Skyward Sword. Uh, Twilight the Princess? I don't think it was in Twilight Princess. I think the last appearance was Windmaker. Because I don't think it was in Majora's. No, it was, no, and, sorry. It wasn't in Majora's. It was in Ocarina. It was in Majora's, Ocarina, the original, or Zelda 3, Zelda 4. Zelda 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's what it was in. In 7. 7, yeah. Was it in Spirit Tracks or. Phantom Hourglass? I don't think it was. It might have been. I haven't played them, so I wouldn't know. But... Oh yeah, this, I'm kind of okay with. I think the rest of it kind of shines better with this second part in mind. So... But... I don't know, it's kind of just me rambling, because it's really late at night, and I really want to, like, finish this off so I can finish editing, schedule this video, and then, you know, guys, tea and go to sleep. But... You know, I'm here. I'm doing my, I'm doing my work. Because otherwise, I'd be just be doing nothing. And I like sharing my art. It's really, it's, it's good to get feedback and stuff. I don't know why I'm still holding the pencil. My hand is sweating. I'm sweating in general. It's very sweaty in my room right now. <laughs> it's my tablet. My tablet is super heated because I've been using it for the last... Five hours? I don't know, I made, this, I made the third speed art like three days ago maybe, and I was kind of miffed on uploading it. Then I realized, you know, I got two things back to back and I wanted to get videos out, so... I just quickly threw it into the editor, added music, and went... That's what I did for this too, but this is a lot longer of a video. I also drew it today, so... 
this gold thing, this gold thing pained me so hard. I hated drawing that. That's the worst part of the drawing. I also tried to smear it, and the smear did not work, so we're gonna just keep going. I tried like 20 different smear things, and it just wasn't working for me, so I kind of just said screw it. I think I did okay at the end, but... I also said, like, there's a little imprint on the handle kind of thing. I just said, screw it. I didn't want to do that, I think. I might have went back and fixed it, but I doubt that. I kind of just went back and fixed every little bit. And then erased the rest. Yeah, I didn't go back and fix it. Which, honestly, I don't really care. I like how it was. It's my style. It's also sideways. But, you know, we can get over that. But, yeah, that's it. See you later.